you think I could go running in my dressing gown? I feel like it's a fetching look. <laughs> you ready, Lulu? Are you ready? Willy! Walkies! Um, I'm glad I did that because I really didn't want to um, I was gonna be like nah, I just won't go because I don't think I'll put much effort in but then I know if I do that then I won't want to go again and then I'll be like oh and then this whole running thing will fizzle out so I was like just go don't do as long like run a bit faster um, so I did a shorter route I ran a bit faster got it over and done with quicker um, and I feel good now and actually from doing it I'm like next time I'm gonna go further and try harder so if you feel like not doing something you don't have to have like a burning desire to do it or like crazy motivation you literally just need to do it and i know i keep talking about this um but i'm just talking you through kind of how i feel about running and that is i do not have a burning desire to go running um but yeah anyway i'm gonna go de-sweat <laughs> Barbie's still, well, has she stopped growing now? No. Still growing. We're zooming. Oh no, no, don't zoom too far. No, you're right. <laughs> We're not zooming too far. Hallelujah. I better deal with my wheelbarrow. So it's my favorite time of the day. Breakfast time, whoa, the sun is bright. Um, but I have a slight issue. Dun dun dun! I don't have any bananas. So I, I'm gonna go and be creative and let's see what I can invent. So not only did I not have any banana, I didn't have any honey or dark chocolate, so I had to put jam on. This is a disaster, but it still tastes okay. So. It will fuel me. So I just wanted to start this vlog by saying thank you so much for all your amazing, supportive, lovely, inspirational messages and comments that you've all been sending me. Also, thank you everyone who sent me a lovely private message, um, whether it be through like Instagram or my personal account or anywhere. Um, it really does mean the world to me and I love you guys so much. You are all amazing. Um, I will get through each comment and reply to it um yeah but thank you guys so i was gonna wait to do my next vlog till next week but i felt so inspired after reading all your comments having all your lovely messages um from the last vlog that i just wanted to get back into it and make another one um there are a couple of things as well that i want to talk to you guys about today one of the big things is that i will be um looking for my new sponsored rider so at the end of this video it will be how to apply for that which is really exciting um for anyone who doesn't know I sponsor a rider for eight lessons, um, so this is people who can't afford training. Um, I sponsor a rider, and that is yeah the application I'm going to be putting out to today, um, which you guys will get tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to find my next person to work with. So yeah. Also, I wanted to let you guys know um, that I am back on positive form. Woo! I think what happened on Wednesday um, was I was overly tired and a bit sensitive. And then what happens when I'm overly tired is like if small things that I normally would be like go over my shoulder, they just get to me a little bit. But um, as I always say in these vlogs, I want to portray reality. And that is why I show you every like moment because I don't want people to think out there like, oh, she doesn't have bad times and she doesn't have down times and think that this unrealistic positive like thing, um, not at all. I do have down times. I do have like emotions and I do feel all that sort of thing, but um, I do know how to bounce back from it um, quickly now and get back to my positivity. Um, and that's why I share it with you guys to show that it is possible to do this um, even how, when you have those feelings. So on the agenda today, um, it's a pretty normal day, which is good. I am going to ride the boys and girls. I have one girl. 
boys and girl. Um, and I've got some teaching. My brother is coming home today with his girlfriend, so we're gonna have a lovely family weekend. Um, also, I have got a horse coming here for me to try for a client who might be potentially buying him, her, not really sure. But yeah, so that is what is on the agenda today. Um, so let's get going. Hi, Wilfie. The world's most spoiled chicken over here. Look at her, she's even got her own little feed thing now. She also has hen food called Hentastic. That's the best thing ever. <laughs> That's my borty. Like having my borty slashed, I do. With my, with my bottles up. My bottles. Or my borty. <laughs> For some reason, Wilf is Welsh. We never know why that happened, but he's like the Welsh rugby player. <laughs> so. I forgot to tell everyone, Anna Ross Davis rung me yesterday on her way to Holland, giving me a pep talk on life. It was hilarious. I wish I had my camera out. Thanks, Anna. Have a good day, guys. <laughs> so I've told Laura she's gonna make a vlog one day. So I'll give her the camera and she can vlog. I think this is a good idea. Well, see. stretchy bit um mum had to run off somewhere but um he was good i'm teaching him the passage at the moment which um because i haven't done passage like properly on a horse before i know what it feels like i've like had it little bits of it but i've never like properly done it so i'm just trying to figure out the best way the feeling getting it right well you know what it's like when you learn something new so yeah we're getting there um and i'm just staying positive and i can't wait to try again um I'm gonna have to try again Monday because he's getting lunch tomorrow. But anyway, it's all good um, and exciting that we are now doing it. Um, Eagle is loving his treats. Eagle was really good. I didn't do much with him today because he has been so good and he's got a show next week and I don't wanna um, overdo it with him because he had a lesson as well yesterday and he was incredible. Uh, so we just did some trotting for like 10, 15 minutes after we warmed up um, and now he's done. So I'm just gonna ride Jaff, um, and then I'm done with the riding. It's just like somebody had run out of time when they made it. it was <laughs> a patchwork of imperfections sewn together with good intentions. It is. Oh, everybody. Good, by the way. Yummy. That's a big old salad. <laughs> oh yeah, it does. Oh, that's oh. hilarious. That was so 
my god. <laughs> we are having technical issues. <laughs> Sorted it now. There we go. In the centre of the screen. This is your. This is your time now. Time to shine. <laughs> what? Look at these. What are they for? <laughs> there can't be much on it. Look at this hilarious comment. What is it? I don't even know. What? So I've just had a very exciting conversation with someone at BD about my vlogging. Um, I'm not going to tell you yet what it is, but I'm really excited. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, back to work. Going to do some teaching now. Um, and then I'm going to try and get to the gym quickly and then get back to try this horse for one of my clients. So let's go, go, go. <laughs> So today I just stretched, I listened to my body, I just moved around. Um, I don't know if you can call it yoga because I don't really know if it's like correct, but I just kind of, yeah, like I say, listen to my body, listen where it needs stretching, move around, um, make sure that it doesn't hurt, but yeah, just thinking about stretching it really. Um, I know when I'm overly tired and when I've got a sore back and stuff, not to push myself too much in the gym. Um, because it's not going to be benefiting my body at all. It's not going to be strengthening it. It is going to be um, doing it damage. So on days I feel like this, I just move around um, and it's kind of, yeah, my old gym used to call it flow and I think that's a nice way of explaining that. It just flow, move from movement to movement, um, stretching yourself out. So that is what I've done today. Um, now I'm going to go home. What time is it? Yeah, I'm going to go home and ride this horse um, and then I'm going to talk to you guys about how to apply for the sponsorship. So I drove past Tesco's and I was craving popcorn and watermelon so I got some popcorn and watermelon. Popcorn? Popcorn and watermelon. Anyway, um, they all just rang me to tell me that the horse is there now <coughs> so I'm going to scooch home and ride. <laughs> For obvious reasons, I'm not going to film this, but I will be back with you guys soon. So we are all done there, and I'm going to just do late to the yard, <laughs> and then I'm going to talk to you guys about the sponsorship, and hopefully my brother will be home as well. Yep. <laughs> I will give you the bird's eye view of Lates. So as you can see, there's Olivia. Missing a poo. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> she calls me the poo police because I go, oh, you've missed some and it's like one drop. <laughs> hey, Dana. I love how you hold it. So, yard all done. Gonna get some din dins now. Oh, my face has disappeared. Oh, we're back. So 
So let's now talk about finding my new sponsored rider. I'm so excited. Um, there's just a few things you need to have to be able to apply and also there's three things you need to do to apply, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So let's get into it. So the sponsorship includes eight lessons with me. These eight lessons need to be used 10 weeks from the first lesson you have. Next, you need to be able to come to mind to have the lesson and also you need to have your own horse or pony. Any age, any level is welcome to apply. Also, with this sponsored rider, I really want to um, film our progress. So I'm going to vlog from the first lesson to the last one to see how we get on. Also, so other people can learn from me teaching you um, and spread more positive vibes. So if this sounds like something you'd be interested in, the three things you need to do to apply are firstly, like Olivia Towers Dressage on Facebook. Secondly, you need to share this vlog. And lastly, I want you to send me an email with why you'd like the sponsorship um, and a little bit about you and your horse or pony. Um, yeah, and that's it. I will leave my email address in the description above so you'll find it there. Um, applications will close in two weeks from when I put this vlog out. So get going after that. I'm afraid I can't take anyone else on. Um, but that is it. I'm so excited to find my new sponsored rider. I cannot wait. Um, yeah, and good luck, guys. But anyway, that is the end of the vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it, um, and I will see you for the next one.